Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to start showing you my home remodeling projects and I'm starting right here in this makeup room. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, including anti-aging homes, decorating homes to make them look a little newer and fresher, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell that will just notify you of my future videos. Okay, let me start by showing you some before and after pictures of the makeup room. The first is the actual makeup room itself. As you can tell, the doors were white but all of the trim was wood, which I thought looked a little bit rustic. And in the after picture, you can see all of the trim is white. We have a different wall color on the walls. It's a little more grayish as opposed to the beige in the earlier picture. Now I'll show you my bathroom. And here is a picture here before and after. And as you can see, the vanity was wood and all of the trim was wood and the walls were a different color. And then in the after, everything is turned white in terms of the trim in the mirror and the vanity and the wall color is now a nice grayish color. Now in addition to redecorating my makeup room, I redecorated the Jack and Jill bath right next to it and the adjoining bedroom, and here's a picture before and after of that bedroom. And as you can see, the wall color was kind of a dark golden brown before, and you can't see the trim there, but all of the wood trim is still wood tone. And then in the after picture, I've added the lighter gray beige color, and all of the trim in the second picture, although you can't see it, is white. Now, I know on HGTV, they make projects like this look super simple, but it was not super simple. It took about two weeks to do these two bedrooms and the Jack and Jill bath, and it was a total wreck. It was a mess. The process to change from wood trim to white is kind of involved. They have to sand down all the wood and then use this peso product to rough it up still further. Then they have to do a coat of primer and then two coats of the oil-based enamel. They have to let it dry 24 hours between coats, so it's a very long process. Now, let me take you on a little tour of my makeup room. Okay, this is the new makeup room. And so here it is. I've really cleaned things out a little bit here. It's a lot less messy because I got this wonderful new cabinet. It's the one that all the YouTubers get from Ikea. And here is the new paint job on the walls. I no longer have an accent wall. It's more of a general gray color instead of the beige. And I had the woodwork painted the white. It's a Benjamin Moore color called White Dove, and there's the little bathroom. There are my lights. There's my little diva ring. And there is everything that I have on my countertop now, which before I had quite a few more things, so I feel a lot better about that, a little more neat and tidy. There's my chair. And these are my little pillows, and I still had room for them. My love pillows to remind me of why I do this, which is to love. I also have the gray curtains, which I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I'll show you a little bit of my storage here. This is my closet, and as you can tell, I have lots and lots of makeup stored here. Makeup brushes and old palettes and things like that. It's really crazy how much you can amass in just maybe a year and a half on YouTube. Wild. And there's my camera and my lights, and I'll put the links below in case anyone's interested in those. It's a fabulous camera. It's the same setup that Angie has. And there's my clock, which helps me not be late in the morning to work. And there is my newest addition, which is a little IKEA cabinet, nine drawer cabinet. And it is really good for putting makeup in. I'll show you a little bit how that's stored. I've got mascaras there and lipsticks in the bottom few drawers. And as you can tell, I have a lot of lipsticks. It's amazing, again, how much you can amass. And here is my little bathroom, little Jack and Jill bath. And so the adventure begins. Don't forget to be awesome and always stay humble and kind. That's to remind me of what I'm doing when I'm doing my YouTube channel. And then there is the new white woodwork and it was all wood toned before. And then there's just a little Hobby Lobby picture. I did blue in this little bathroom. And then this is the Jack and Jill part of the bath. I kept the black towels and the black rugs just in the interest of saving money. Now here is our leaf to our table which my husband has removed from under the bed here. He did put up some new lights for me which are nickel instead of the oil rubbed bronze. There's my cross from Hobby Lobby. Love that. Love the color. And this is the second bedroom. And we got most of this stuff from Pier 1, and I'll put a link below if they still have it, which I've had it for about a year, so I would think they still would. So there's a look at that room. 
And then here is the kitchen. And as you can tell, it is still wood tone cabinets. And tomorrow the paint job is going to begin and I'll do a video about what it's like to change all of these wood cabinets. In fact, all of the wood trim that is all over the whole house is going to be white. And if you'd like to see the videos of the rest of my house, I think I'm doing one on the kitchen remodel and one on the master bedroom, master bath remodel, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That will just notify you of my future videos. And I will say I am so glad this project is over. It about did me in. All of the trim on my first floor is now the white color and all of the walls have been changed in terms of color. And of course, knowing me, how I do things is the wall color changed and so that did change a lot of the decor too. So it should be kind of interesting to see the before and after pictures when I get to those videos. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. I'm using these Power Thoughts cards from Louise Hay. Let's see what Power Thought we can think about today. Ooh, I love that. I can release the past and forgive everyone. I can release the past and forgive everyone. I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. I love this. They are free and I am free to move into new glorious experiences. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card. If you're holding on to old hurts and old anger and old arguments, then let them go. And I did that myself for many years. I got mad at my parents for something kind of stupid. And really, even though we had a relationship, underneath it all, I was mad at them for 15 years. And I think it did nothing but actually hurt my health. I got arthritis during that time and I really think it was because of the resentment that I held due to that silly situation. So friends, just for today, and every other day of our second half, let's forgive everyone, including ourselves. Because when we forgive the world and release those past hurts, we can have a fabulous, love-filled second half. Take care. See you next time.